Hi everyone! Today, because it, I'm starting to feel very autumnal, I thought I would show you how to create this look. So during autumn I like to go for a coppery eye and a very dark, very toned lip. So let's get started and see how I created this. So the first thing you want to do is prime your face and for that I have been using the number 7 um, cleansing balm. So I've talked about this a few times now, I think. Definitely was in my last month's favourites. Basically you just put this on like a moisturiser and then take it off. I usually leave it on for about a minute and then take it off again. I think this just works really well as a primer for my makeup. The next thing you want to do is obviously your foundation. So for my foundation I am going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the colour Mont Blanc. So this is the second lightest shade. And I'm just going to pop a bit on my hand and then by using the Expert Face Brush, the, I'm just going to put a little bit of that, oh I need a more for this, <laughs> on my face. And then start blending. So I am a big fan of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, just because of the consistency and the coverage that it gives. The only issue I have with it is because it's got such a good coverage it takes forever to blend. So just keep going until it's well blended in. doesn't matter at this stage if you've got some brush strokes because we're going to blend that out with a beauty blender. Just get it on to the coverage that you want. And I've put it on my lips by accident. And I'm just going to bring it a little bit down into my neck. It's because you don't want to have a different coloured neck to the colour of your face. Okay, so that is my foundation done. The next thing I'm going to do is just use a beauty blender to just blend that out if there's any brush strokes or anything because we don't really want any brush strokes on our face. So I'm just using the Real Techniques one, a bit dirty but needs washed. And I'm just going to pat all the way around my face just to even it out. I used to use these things really wrong. Um, I used to just like put the foundation on and like rub it across my face. That is not how you use this because <laughs> I wasn't a fan of this at the start. And then I worked out why. <laughs> I had been doing it all wrong. So you literally just dab, <laughs> dab it in. Some people use it wet and some people use it dry. I prefer dry, although I've never used it wet, but I like the consistency of it when it's when it's dry. So that is everything blended in. So the next thing I'm going to do is use concealer to hide all those nasty, nasty spots and conceal under my eyes. So for that I'm using the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer in the colour Ivory. So for that I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand to avoid like double dipping and stuff like that. And then using the pointy bit of my beauty blender, I'm just going to add that to my face. Just where I need concealer. And then just tap that in. Now that our foundation and our concealer is on, we want to set that. So for the powder, I'm going to be using the makeup at Makeup Academy, the MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Matte Satin Press Powder. So I'm just going to dab a bit on my, which is this one, the Real Techniques 100 brush in the Bold Metals and I'm just going to dab, brush that across my face just to set my makeup in. Okay. 
the next thing we're going to do is our like contouring so for the contouring I am going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light to medium so this is what the palette looks like I'm going to be using this colour here which is Java for contouring I am going to be using the Zoeva Golden Brush in 142. It's actually a concealer brush, but I actually like it to like just give me a line of contour here and then I'm gonna blend that out using a different brush. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to my brush and then add that to my face. So just A line where, where you want your contour to be and then I'm going to just do the same on the other side. So you want your contour to be just under your cheekbone. So if you need to do that to find where your cheekbone is, do that. So you can see here I've added a line, I promise you it's not that dark on my face but I'm going to use the, the NARS Kabuki brush to just blend that in. So what you want to do for contouring, especially at your cheekbones, is blend up the way, okay? So if you're contouring this bit of your forehead, contour down, if you're doing your cheekbones, contour up. So I'm just going to be using this one to brush my contour up. That way you get a really nice highlight of and definition of your cheekbone. Okay, so I just need to do the same on the other side. The next thing I'm going to do is add some blush. So for that I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is like my all time favorite palette. It's just so beautiful. I was very thankful to get my hands on this before they like just stopped doing it. So for blush, I'm going to use, I'm going to use a mixture of the two in the middle. So the two pink colors and that is Iridescent Light and Luminescent Flush. So I just do a mixture of both. And I'm just gonna add that into my cheeks. I love this palette. The payoff, like the color payoff is incredible. It doesn't look like you're adding too much to your face. It just gives you that really nice like pop of having a pink cheek. And actually it's just beautiful. There's a little bit of shimmer in it too. It was well worth the money. So if you ever get the chance to get this again, buy it. I know so many people who pass up the opportunity to get this the first time round and they really regret it. So if you can get your hands on one of these, definitely, definitely get it. Just don't look at the price. Just, just ignore it. It will be your best friend. <laughs> I can promise you that. The next thing I'm going to do is just highlight under, under my eyes. So for that, I'm going to be using the what is this called? The Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. This is another very beautiful um, palette. Here, so you have three blushes and then you have like two highlighters. So this one here is called Champagne Pop and this one here is called Prosecco Pop. So I'm going to use some Prosecco, I think I'm going to use Prosecco Pop and just put a little bit here just to highlight that area. So for that, I'm just going to use the Zoeva 21, no, 231 crease brush because <laughs> just because I don't want too much on, I just want a little bit just to highlight that area of my face. So I'm just going to put that just, just to highlight.
can you see that? Oh, I may have put a little bit too much on. <laughs> so next we're going to move on to our eyes. First of all, prime my eye using the number 17 palette, Easy on the Eye. And this palette is really, really good. So you have a number of colors on one side and then you've got a few primers at this end. So I'm just gonna use this palette for a primer and just add that to my eye. I find eye primers really, really good. They make your eye makeup last a lot longer. So if you're going out for a long day and you want your eyeshadow to last, definitely put a primer on first. Some people use concealer on their eyelids. Um, I just prefer using an eye primer. So that is my eyes primed and ready to go. So for my copper eye, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Kate. What is this? The eyeshadow stick. It's basically like a big crayon for your eye. I really like this. I wasn't sure if I'd get on with this just because I didn't know how hard it was going to be in your eye. Is it going to be really easy to blend or not? But it's definitely really, really good. It's nice and soft in your eyelid and it blends like it travels across your eyelid really, really well. So I'm just going to put this all over my lid. It's basically just like colouring in your eyelid. Now that that is on the base of my eye, I'm going to put a little bit darker into the crease of my eye using the Too Faced palette in the Sweet Peach and I'm going to add a little bit of cobbler, this colour here, into the crease of my eye. It's just a very light brown into the crease of my eye. And then using a clean blending brush, so I'm using the 227 Zoeva brush, I'm just going to blend that just to give it a, a softer feel. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I always leave my mascara to the very last thing. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Tanya Burr um, Perfect Brows Palette. I really struggle to find a brow product that actually works for me. I came across the Tanya Burr Palette and I found a mixture of these two here, which is Chestnut and Hot Coca. A mixture of these works really well for my brows. So I'm just gonna do mixture of those and add that to my brows. So I really need to get my brows done. They have been seriously neglected recently. So I always get, I well, do always, but I mi do a mixture of just getting an eyebrow wax and tint and getting HD brows done. So most people think that HD brows are these like ginormous, dark, caterpillar things on your eyebrow. That is not the case. A HD brow, if it's done properly and professionally, is tailored to how you want it. So you can have it as thin, as thick, as dark, as light as you want it to be. So if you're considering getting HD brows done, go and see somebody who does them. They must have like the training course in HD brows and HD brows have to cost at least £25, okay? So if they cost any less than £25, they're not HD brows and they're not using HD brow products. So my top tip 
for eyebrows is don't do them yourself. Just please don't do them yourself. Most people regret having like over plucked um, and over waxed their eyes. Leave them to a professional. The next thing I'm going to do is my mascara. So for that I am using the Lash Sensational Lash Multiply Mascara. I love this mascara. Just gonna put that on. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the bottom of my bottom of my hand. That is basically our face done and the last thing we want to do is add our lip product. So because it's, it's autumn at the minute I am loving having a dark lip, sort of a more berry toned lip. So the lip product that I'm going to be using is the Charlotte Tilbury Glastonbury. This is just beautiful. It's a very very dark, almost like browny purple colour and it is just beautiful. I'm just going to add that. If you can use a lip liner first, I can't find my lip liner, so I'm just gonna have to go rogue and add it to my lips. So that is the color of it so far. The smell of this lipstick is, is amazing. I kind of think it smells like a bit cookie almondy. The design of this lipstick actually makes it really easy to apply if you don't have a lip liner because it's got such a sharp edge on it. Or straight edge, not sharp edge. So that is our finished look. I hope you really like this. I hope you enjoyed this style video. It's the first one I've ever done. Um, I hope to do more in the future. If you like this style, why don't you give it a go yourself? And make sure and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye.